There's a practical reason why the Raise keyboard has RGB LEDs, and it's basically to give visual feedback when changing layers. The vast majority of gaming keyboards have RGB LEDs just for aesthetics. But during our testing, we found out that people actually use the RGB LEDs of the underglow and the backlight to give them visual feedback when they're changing layers. We realized that this reduced the learning curve. With arrays, you can create up to 10 layers and toggle instantly between them. Every key in every layer you create is remappable and can be configured with its own color. Take this for example. On my layer zero, I have my default layer. And then in my other layer, I have my arrow keys, which I've configured to have a different color. I know I want a different layer because the color of my underglow and the color of my keys are different. This is another layer that I shift to. And this has all my navigation keys that I use to navigate through Chrome or navigate through my desktop. But as you can see, when I let go, I go back to my previous layer. This is what you call a shift to layer functionality, which you can learn more in our website. We've also had a few digmates tell us the different ways they use the underglow. For example, you can also turn on just the inner side of the underglow. This way, you can clearly see the light, especially when the keyboard is split. We've also had one digmate tell us that he only uses the top part of his underglow because the light from the top is reflected in his setup. If you want to learn more about the different functionalities you can configure on your Raze keyboard, head over to our website, digma.com forward slash basecore, or check out our videos on our YouTube channel so you can learn more about how you can improve your productivity with the Raze, how you can start improving your touch typing techniques, and many more. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and if you like this video, please give it a like so we can be friends forever.